We can all agree that the people who did the Chase check fraud are going to jail, but I don't think anybody is, has been talking about the tax implications of committing fraud of any sort. And so as a CPA of nearly 20 years and a former certified fraud examiner, I just wanted to take a few moments to kind of unpack um, what happens when you commit fraud or you steal and how that impacts your taxes. Spoiler alert! The IRS expects you to report the fair market value of any stolen property, which includes cash, which is easy to value, on your tax return. And you're going to do this either as other income, there's just a line on the 1040 for other income, or if you're a career criminal, you're going to put it on a Schedule C. So if you've committed check fraud, you know, Chase Bank, and you haven't been indicted, and you're wondering what to do, I would find a tax attorney, um, actually an attorney, not a CPA or enrolled agent, who also handles criminal stuff, so that you can do this on your tax return in the way that's most protective for you, and I can't give you advice on that because I'm not an attorney. So yeah, like pay your taxes on it, or at least get that return filed so that you're not slapped with uh, tax fraud on top of this other shit you got going on. And I am still dumbfounded that people thought that this was a glitch and that this, I, I'm shocked that so many people did not realize that this was fraud. Um, I guess we've come a long way in the last 20 years of banking and check kiting isn't really a thing. Um, but yeah, make sure you pay your taxes, boo.